Hello, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. This is the Amazon Basics desktop mini condenser USB microphone. And in this video, I'll show you what's in the box and find out what it's all about. Taking a break from its evil capitalist world conquering agenda, Amazon has recently dipped its toes into the world of affordable USB microphones. There are a couple of models available, but this time around I'm checking out its smaller desktop mini condenser, costing a paltry £33.65 at the time of purchase. The mic arrived in this fairly nondescript brown box with the Amazon Basics logo emblazoned on the side. In the box, pickings are understandably slim. You've got the microphone itself, which is all plastic construction, to be expected at this price point, but it does feel particularly cheap and almost flimsy. The grill fares slightly better, it is metal, not plastic, and it definitely feels a lot sturdier. One thing to note, this thing is really light, like really, really light, which adds to its cheap and cheerful feel overall. It also comes with this fairly cheap feeling stand and a mini USB to USB-A cable too. Bear that in mind if you're rocking a newer MacBook or the new iPad Pro with USB-C inputs, you will need a dongle to use this. There are no controls to speak of on the mic, save for a single mute button and an LED which activates when the mic is muted. That's all. There's also a standard mini USB input on the back. The Amazon Basics desktop mini USB microphone records at a sample rate of 48 kilohertz at 16 bit. It has a frequency response of 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz, though this varies in the included documentation, which say that the microphone has a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So I'm not sure what's happened there. It's a bit strange. So with all that out of the way, let's give the mic a whirl and see what it sounds like. So this is what the Amazon Basics desktop mini USB microphone sounds like. I'm about six inches away from the front of the microphone. Um, there's no onboard controls on the mic, as I mentioned. So you're going to be controlling the uh, input level from your Mac system preferences. So this is just over 50% at the minute, and it's quite a decent amount of gain. Amazon, no oh Amazon, your streaming service sucks. I prefer Netflix, so oh, Amazon, your music choice is whack, I prefer Spot. Amazon, no oh, Amazon, your streaming service sucks, I prefer Netflix, so oh, Amazon, your music choice is whack, I prefer Spotify, oh Spotify. I do quite like Amazon Prime You send me things the next day But I'm not sure it's worth how much I pay It's a tenner a month Despite the bad first impression that you get from the budget build quality of this Amazon Basics microphone This thing sounds incredible for its price point like, really, really good. Amazon are placing this model squarely in the same ballpark as other popular budget USB mics like the Blue Snowball or the Samson Meteor. And while it comes in cheaper than either of them and definitely falls short build quality wise of either of them, it comes very close to matching their sound quality, in my opinion. 
One thing I did notice is that it's really bad at dealing with plosives, so you'll absolutely want to stick a pop filter in front of it before speaking or singing into it. This is how the Amazon mic sounds without a pop filter in front of it when you're quite close to the mic. You can hear it doesn't deal with plosives well at all. I'm now the same distance away but with a pop filter in front of the microphone and you can hear that it pretty much completely fixes the issue. All in all, while this Amazon Basics microphone won't win any premium build quality awards, or any build quality awards for that matter, it does have it where it counts. While Amazon perhaps intends a mic like this to be used by gamers or streamers, it can definitely service as a portable mic for a musician on the go, or as a first microphone for a bedroom producer on a tight budget. I, for one, am pleasantly surprised. There you have it, that's the Amazon Basics Desktop Mini Condenser USB Microphone. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. I've been Patrick from the GarageBandGuide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.